13 investigates uncovering tens of thousands of open felony warrants in Harris County alone. And get this, more than 700 of them are people charged with murder. This leaves violent offenders with open warrants to wander among us and do as they please. ABC 13's Brooke Taylor spent time with Harris County's Criminal Warrants Division to find out what's the holdup. Beloved and longtime Cracker Barrel employee, 59 year old Robin Balcom, was shot and killed in January while protecting another employee at work during an attempted robbery. Her accused killer, Nathan Humphrey, was later killed by deputies trying to arrest him. Humphrey had five warrants out for his arrest at the time of the murder, three of those felonies. He had a violent past, according to court records. He broke into his girlfriend's home and assaulted her more than four months earlier. It wasn't until he was accused of murder that he became a priority to track down. Balcom's sister, Gail, left wondering if her sister would still be alive if they tried to arrest him sooner. You just wonder why, what can be done? Does anybody care that they, they can make the changes? Do you not care what happens to innocent people? Lieutenant Casey Haberland works in the criminal warrants division for the Harris County Sheriff's Office and admits his team is overwhelmed. We're staying above water barely, right? Um, Cause there's so, so much crime has spiked, it's no secret. Right now, there are 50,672 open arrest warrants, according to the Harris County Sheriff's Office. 25,000 of those are charged with felonies or the most serious of crimes. And 706 people charged with murder remain either on the streets or outside the criminal justice system here. It's a high number. It's, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not good to have anybody that's out on a violent crime running around. But, you know, there's only so many investigators, there's, so many, there's only so many officers that can run these warrants. Haberlin says this doesn't mean more than 700 murder suspects are wandering our streets. He says some are in custody in other locations waiting to be brought back to Harris County. But just how many? He says he doesn't know. We try to clear them as fast as we can. So as they come in, we work them. We try to get them cleared, get them arrested and, and whatnot. And then, but they keep coming. ABC 13 uncovered fewer than 10% of people with warrants were being arrested every month in 2021. While arrests are happening, there's roughly four to 6,000 new warrants every month. We're in the negative. We're in the red every time on the warrant count coming in. More coming in than we are able to, to arrest. The majority of the arrests come from traffic stops, but we wanted to know how many people are actually going out and arresting people on warrants each day. Well, records show there are only 17 investigators and sergeants within the Harris County Sheriff's Office looking for the more than 25,000 people wanted for felonies right now. Other agencies like Houston Police can also run warrants. With limited manpower, Haberlin says they focus on arresting the most violent criminals. We have so many murders in either Harris County, unincorporated, or the city of Houston that it's almost, they, they focus predominantly on murders. Because that takes priority, it means those wanted for other crimes, like in Humphrey's case, a convicted felon wanted for assaulting and breaking into his girlfriend's apartment are put on the back burner. It should be priority 100 percent. I'll be the first to say it. It's just, you know, there's not enough people. Haberlin says the spike in crime, not enough officers running warrants and outside factors like the court backlog are the reasons why they just can't keep up. And in turn, there are victims like Robin Balcom, whose lives are lost to senseless violence. Until something is done to, to get a handle on the crime that's out there and give the police what they need, the backing, the money, to put effort into getting these people off the streets, it's going to get worse. And it can happen to anybody. And when it happens to your family, then you realize how much ch needs to be changed. Okay, so what happens now, Brooke? What's the solution to picking up all these wanted offenders? Eric, part of the solution is simple, right? Just add more staff to the warrants division. Well, Sheriff Ed Gonzalez recently asked exactly for that in next year's budget proposal, but the Harris County Commissioner's Office did not approve a single dollar to add officers to the warrants division within their $2.1 billion budget. So I asked the sheriff, how do we change this? What do we do going forward? Because these numbers are 
are concerning. Well, he says they are not going to give up. They're going to work with HPD and other partners to try and expand their reach so they can actively go out and arrest those people on their warrants, Eric. All right. Meanwhile, people will keep waiting to see the answers come to fruition. Brooke, thanks a lot.